Hi everyone, this is Andre from Global Time Collection. I started out this channel around a year ago. And to commemorate one year of this channel, I decided to make a different video than I usually did. And also to close the year, I would like to share my most worn watches in 2023, which is Seiko 5 Sports SRPD 55K2 which comes with a blue NATO strap. I've brought this watch three years ago and I've changed the strap into a leather strap, which is also in our collection, a handmade leather strap. But before that, after everyday wear, this watch need to be calibrated. As you can see, that this watch is a few minutes faster than it should be. Seiko claims that the accuracy of this caliber 4R36 is between plus 45 and minus 35 seconds per day, and mine is way beyond that, so it needs to be calibrated. Now it's time to give a new look. I bought a rubber strap which also in blue color. We will calibrating the watch by setting up the lever near the balance wheel. After adjusting, we need a time grapher to read the movement pace and amplitude. I bought this time grapher around half year ago. I use this time grapher to check the movement of the mechanical watches I sell. A little introduction about Global Time Collection. We are an authorized dealer of brand like Seiko, Aigner, and several other global brands. We also got our Instagram with the same name, Global Time Collection. You can also pay us a visit to our web store, globaltimecollection.com, listing also the brands that I mentioned just now. Okay, so first we will uh, take off the strap first. I have the tools already over here. So this is what I like about Seiko is uh, almost all the cases they have a, a drill hole over here. So they they have uh, four four holes uh, alongside the the lock, right? The locks. So we 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 can gently push the, the the spring bar in it then we can take it out easily so push it gently like this don't push it too hard because one of our customers uh, push it too hard and then the, the spring bar become damaged right broken and also one of our uh, viewers also uh, asked about this uh, and I explained it already in the uh, comments. So uh, you, you can check it, uh, drill holes uh, on, the, on the locks, right? Okay, so this is basically uh, the case back and then we'll uh, open it with the case over. Here's what it look like the uh... 
you can adjust it with the uh, tweezer or a pack wood maybe or something that uh, with a with a sp uh, sprung paint right so we will turn this uh, router first right so this is this is what we are going to to push right this one over here So basically, we will uh, we'll push gently over here this lever. Yeah, if you want to go it slower, so you will need to push it a little bit uh, to the right. And then, if you want to move it faster, you will you you will need to move it to the to the left, right? So I've moved it to the right, so make it slower. So we'll check it if. The, the time is within the, has been adjusted in the tolerance. Yep, so it is too slow. Yeah, this is too slow, and then we need to make adjustment again. So we will make it a little bit uh, to the left, to the right, to, to make it to the within. To move it in within the tolerance, right? Okay, we will uh, adjust it again. So this time we will uh, make it faster. So we will uh, move it to the to the left, right? Okay. Now this time, uh, for the third time, I have made the adjustment to the to make it faster. So make it faster, and then we take a look again on the time graph. Okay, after a few adjustments, yeah, I think we managed to get it within the tolerance plus 20 or minus 50. So uh, I think uh, that that will be all. So be careful not to touch the balance wheel over here, right? That will be all for the adjustment uh, this time. So today uh, we will continue to close the case and then we'll change the strap now we will set the watch first according to the time that it should be Now we set the time already and then we will change the strap.
This is the new look of my most worn watch in 2023. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. And also I would like to hear from you what is your most worn watch in 2023. You could comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in next year 2024. Bye bye.